All right, it'll be just a moment here. Give me a couple minutes. About three minutes and we should get started here. All right. What's up, Marty? Oh, I'm sorry. Hello, Marty. Just kidding. All right. Almost ready to get started here. About another two minutes to go. So just let everybody get in. Probably grab something to eat and then they get rolling up on here so I appreciate it. Alright, let me do my sound check. Test, 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 test. Alright, I am ready to rock. Alright, got the mouth page jacket on tonight. I am ready. Alright. I got my uh, got my clothing consultant on. Hopefully, uh, looking good. You know, got the glasses. Or I could do, I could go, I could go workout style. No, okay. See, this is what happens when you don't have music. See, then I have to do all the chit chatting. Right, another minute to go, and we will kick it off. Give everybody a few more seconds here to get to get up here, uh, up and running. Let me turn off my phone so we don't get disturbed like we did last night. All right, it is time to get started. Well, hello, Joy. I see you just jumped on. Thank you so much. Okay, here we go. Dun, dun, dun. It is 7 o'clock on the hour, Pacific Standard Time. So, shalom. Welcome, Alpagers. Happy Tuesday, Yom Shlishi. Yay. It is Tuesday. We are so close. To Saturday, I can taste it. I can taste cheese pizza. I can taste a soda. For those of you who don't know, I don't really eat a lot of junk food through the week. You know, trying to keep this this physique, you know, in good shape. Yeah, I'm just kidding. Yeah, it's it's not in very good shape. So, want to wish everybody a happy Tuesday and hope everyone has had a wonderful week so far at this point but we are so close to the weekend so i'm hoping everybody is excited so let's go ahead and get started i am rabbi yak i'm located outside of san francisco mouth page is an online spiritual community we are an online jewish synagogue every monday through thursday we do our week, our live weeknight motivations at seven o'clock p.m pacific time and every friday night is our shabbat service at 6 o'clock p.m. Pacific time. So please check out our services on our Facebook or on our, or on our Facebook page or on our website. And you can go on our media tab and our live stream and you can check us out. Also, we also have a YouTube channel now. Our YouTube channel and our mouth page, pa mouth page are the same. Mouth page spiritual community. So check out YouTube or mouth or at Facebook and you can check us out. It's awesome. So thank you so much. So for those of you who are new to our community, our week now motivations are designed to help each of you get motivated from a hard day, a hard week, and get ready for the week ahead. I try to make them short, fast, and powerful, hopefully about 10, 15 minutes. So we have now been going for live for six weeks. Six weeks. Those of you who've been with me from the beginning, I was slurring and stumbling my speech, so hopefully I'm getting better. But we've been going live for six weeks, and we just passed the 1,700 die-hard mouth pages liking us on Facebook. Thank you so much, so much for following us and liking us. 
watching our videos. I really, really appreciate it. So thank you so much. I hope you find our community a place where you can grow spiritually. So every night I post mouth of the days. It's our version of the word of the day. So if you happen to uh, check it out, shoot me a message. Shoot me a little Facebook like or comment, whatever. And I'm I'm always on Facebook looking around, you know, checking out some cool stuff. So feel free to communicate with me anytime. I really appreciate it. So if you happen to miss any of our services, we uh, we have all of them archived on Facebook, YouTube, or on our website at www.mouthpage.com. So this week's motivation, as I've been uh, advertising on our page and uh, been talking about for the last couple days, is we've been doing the Ten Commandments. So I call it the Ten. So we have been doing the Ten Commandments. So last night we did Commandment number five, which is honor thy mother, thy father. <laughs> honor thy mother, thy father. Whew, that was a tongue twister. Tonight is number six, which is thou shall not murder. Whew, how in the world am I going to make this a motivation, right? How am I going to get motivation out of that? So, whew, no, thou shalt not murder, right? Well, before we get into that, let me go ahead and do the Ten Commandments. Well, let me give you the, the full ten. Number one, I am the Lord your God who brought you out of the land of Egypt to be your God out of the house of Egypt and house of slavery. You should have no other gods before me. You should not worship false gods, false idols. You should not use the Lord's name in vain. Remember the Sabbath day to be holy. Honor thy mother, thy father. Thou shalt not murder, which we're going to talk about tonight. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not lie. Thou shalt not covet. So let's go ahead and I will give you my take on commandment number six. Thou shalt not murder. Well, that pretty much sums it up. We're done. That's it. Have a great night. Thank you so much for joining. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. This is a tough one. This is a real tough one because so again, God gives us a general mitzvot. Mitzvot means commandments in Hebrew. Not much commentary to it. It's pretty cut and dry. Thou shalt not murder. But I'm going to give you my take on it. So murder to me is kind of like when God says it on the commandments, kind of like the word bullying. First thing that pops in your head when you hear the word murder, it's pretty bad, it's pretty gruesome, it's pretty evil. Just like the word bullying, we think, oh my gosh, it's some big, big muscular kid or beefy person pushing around little little people around, grabbing their lunch money or their milk money or taking their uh, school bags from them, right? The typical uh, movie of, of what a bully is. But there's much, much, much more than that. So let me show you how I I show you my take on it as well as um, how I'm going to make this positive. So first of all, it's obvious. Thou shalt not murder. Thou shalt not kill or destroy. I'm going to use the word destroy a little bit more on this one. So that's pretty obvious. How about killing your motivation? Have you ever seen or know or been anybody who've been a motivating killer how about a dream killer you know you have a dream to be an artist or you have a dream to be a singer or you have a dream to be a uh, a ballerina but someone killed your dreams someone talked you down your smiles every day you're on Facebook you're looking around and you're so excited you know you're typing little words and all of a sudden somebody calls you a racist because you happen to like one of the political candidates and all you said was oh uh, it's great to do this boom and you get bullied you get somebody brings you down kills your smiles being bullied in my opinion is kind of like the new being destroyed type of thing because it really kills your spirits right it really destroys your spirits spirits 
How many of us have ever had our spirits killed or murdered or destroyed? Spirits. People being jealous and embarrassing one another over certain issues. You know, just like I watched a movie the other day where the person was so jealous of this girl, so she embarrassed her in front of hundreds of people, right? Killing their spirit. How about love? Now, I know this is kind of a little far-fetched, right? But really, your spirit, your spirit dies when love dies, right? We've all been broken up with. We've all had, you know, bre breakups of some types or lost a loved one, a family member or a friend. And part of you dies that day. Well, here's, here's my take on how to protect our spirits, get ourselves up, get ourselves to help other people, to get ourselves back into the way we need to be, right? So as those of you who've been watching me or listening to the last couple uh, weeks of my motivations, I always do a word and then I kind of break it down. So spirit is my word. So spirit is how I'm going to make thou shall not murder positive. I'm going to turn a negative into a positive, right? How to protect ourselves from being metaphorically destroyed. How to protect ourselves from that. So S for spirit, S. Say five prayers a day. Again, these are just my opinions, my takes. This is the, what I think will really protect us, right? So say five prayers a day. So for Jews, we're technically supposed to do 20 prayers a day. I did 18 today, so I felt short by two. So tomorrow, I got to do 22 so I can make up for the last two. But at least try to do five. You know, constantly talk with God. Pray, do five prayers a day. Patience, P, patience. Patience that God will have your back. That no matter what happens, God will be there. Whew. I watched the uh, movie the other day about about gangs and they show up, right? And one gang has all their friends. The other one's sitting there looking around going, oh no, where's mine? Well, I'll take God as my gang any day. So patience, be patient that God will have your back. I install many, many godly shields in your metaphorical bag. So when I was in sales, we always talk about your sales tool bag, metaphorically. You know, you always put all the little knowledge in your little bag, right? So same thing here. To protect yourself, you got to have this little bag and put your little godly shields in here. Your Bible verses, your prayers, your vows, you know, surrounding yourself with positive people. People that you can, that lighten your day. Or even things that you do that can help another person. That you can help light your path. Brighten your path even more so. Life is hard. Life is tough. And if you allow it, it will kick you in the teeth every day. So install your godly shields. R. Resist. Resist. Resist, resist, resist evil and temptation. What I mean by that is Facebook. How many are... Right, let me rephrase that. On the social media accounts, resist when you get bullied by someone. And I don't mean certain uh, accounts, but when you're on these, these sites, you have to be careful what you do. And you have to be careful that you yourself don't retaliate because people can be very, very mean. I'm on Facebook all the time. I love Facebook. Facebook's one of my favorite favorite sites but people can be pretty tough some of these social media accounts they can be really really tough on don't re resist fighting back resist being evil back don't get yourself in that position I invite God to help you invite God to help you with your shields to protect you T time to smile and shine I love this because in years and years and years and years of being in sales, I see so many customers yell and scream and throw stuff at me and my 
workers and my team and everybody. I've seen it. It's just, whew. And I watched one of the people that was working with me, and he continued to smile. This person actually threw a car charger at his head, and he smiled at him. And he told me afterwards, I was like, what are you doing? And he's like, I will never allow anybody to break me. And I was just like, wow, that's awesome. That's awesome. So time to smile, time to shine. Smile. Someone curses at you, smile at them. Smiling always works. At sticks and stones. Don't let sticks and stones when it break your bones, but words will never hurt me. Sticks and stones. Don't let words bully you. Don't be bullied. Resist the words, right? Resist. Don't be bullied. Don't allow people to rattle your cage. So before we end tonight's motivation, I'd like to close with some prayers and birthday wishes. So first of all, I'd like to pray for Bruce's upcoming surgery, Joanna, who is in the hospital with cancer. Um, she's getting better, it seems like, a little bit because she has been texting, but still want to continue to pray for Joanna. Uh, Rudy, who's having surgery next week. Claire, who got rushed to the hospital. Um, and I'd like to pray for our for the world and for our country. Our country is going through some tough times right now. Lots and lots and lots of bullying each other back and forth. So uh, really, really, people are really kind of going at it. So continue to pray for peace. So I want to really pray for peace. So birthday wishes, happy birthday, Chris, Craig, and Tim. So as I always been doing, or I've been doing the last couple weeks, want to do the Psalms 133. So how good and pleasant is it for brothers and sisters to dwell together in unity? Psalm 133. So I want to thank all of you for watching tonight. So please check us out every Monday and through Thursday live on Facebook. And you can check out our website as well, www.mouthpage.com. So check out our service on Friday, our Shabbat service, 6 o'clock p.m. Pacific time. Thank you so much. Please follow us and like us on Facebook. Check out our new YouTube channel. I really appreciate it. Again, thank you for getting up to 1,700. Woohoo, 1,700. We're almost to a million. No, we're not actually. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But thank you so much. Thank you for dealing with my jokes and for me not singing and dancing. But I would love it if you know anybody who can sing uh, for our Shabbat service. I really appreciate it. So I want to wish all of you a happy week. Remember, help others to be nice. That's my tagline. Nobody else can take it. No, I'm just kidding. Remember, help others be nice. God bless and Lila Tov. Love you all. See you guys tomorrow. We have a delay, so I wait a second because I'm watching myself in a chair. Woof. I don't know if any of you have ever watched yourselves talk or on a video. It's rough. At least for me it is. I'm just kidding. All right. I will see you guys tomorrow.